Thank you for coming out, Lisa. Appreciate you guys showing up. Let's hear it for the maniacs. Any maniacs out there? You know what? I just some straight athletes. Any athletes out there? Okay, we got some of them too. Well, thank you for parents, uh, parents, friends of the program. Um, we see some former coaches that have showed up. Um, that have been a huge part of our success. Um, here as a program. So, so coaches, thank you for everything you've done uh, for Millbrook High School. Uh, I want to just tell you a couple quick things before I introduce uh, our next head coach. Um, Millbrook has the longest active playoff streak um, at 21 straight years. Millbrook has the longest active playoff streak in 4A basketball. So uh, that was surprising. Of course, Evan Molesta found that stat. I was like, wow. I didn't really realize that in no other 4 a team. Um, you know, with that being said, it was obvious that we had so many coaches apply. We had 20, over 27 coaches apply. Um, we've had, you know, some, some uh, former head college coaches, um, college assistants. We had a, a lot of great interviews. I actually, it might sound weird, we brought in, uh, the 27, we brought in six and had some really good, tough interviews. Um, so we, we had a great interview process, felt really good about it, and then, um, Mr. Flowers and I interviewed and then we, we turned the decision over to um, our head principal. So we're super excited about that. One thing was pretty cool. Uh, you know, we know most of the guys that apply because, you know, being in North Carolina for such a long time. Mike, that's why you don't work in high school. Just want to let you know. That all day. The bell, too, all day. But uh, one thing about the college assistant said it was pretty awesome uh, as he was applying. He, he was applying for the job and he was like, hey, uh, you know, is, is your assistant that's been with you for so long going to apply? And I said, yeah, he, he's going to apply. And he said, well, I'm going to withdraw my name then because my core principle is loyalty. And he showed a tremendous amount of loyalty and he pulled his name out of the hat, which I thought was really classy. Uh, but one thing I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you three things about our coach. Um, one, he's been huge to our community uh, here in the school. He's super involved into the school, super involved into the Millbrook community. Um, he works tremendously hard. Uh, he's a hard worker. He's going to come in here and, and try to outwork people. Um, so much to the, the, so much to that that after, you know, usually in the month of November, I, I have to remind him to get some sleep, um, to, to, you know, relax and, and take your time a little bit. Um, he has created a great culture. Uh, the, the, the key thing that we we're looking for, it was a great culture. Um, and, and by that, what I'm saying, athletes, you know, you, when you've been on successful teams, one thing is that, that has a great culture is one that you will work and play hard for that coach. Um, so that was a huge factor for us. And the second thing, and I know this sounds weird, the fun word. It has to be fun. It has to be fun. We have to enjoy the moment. And I, and I think this is where our coach really just stepped out and, and you know, he, he's great at enjoying the moment and making it a fun process. Making it fun for the athletes, making it fun for the coaches, um, and realize, really sees the big picture. When you step back, you know, culture is so much, if you're going to be a successful business or you're going to be a successful team, you know, the more books I read, everything is culture based and it's really based on what kind of experience um, that the athletes and then that the students are going to have. And, and I, I definitely think with our next size coach, that is the one thing that really separated him and, and pushed out was the great culture he's going to have. Um, so at this time, um, I'd like to introduce the 13th head basketball coach since 1945. All right. I hope. Coach Chris Davis.
first, I want to thank, thank God for our, you know, the opportunities that we all get and blessing in my life. Um, I want to thank um, Norwalk High School for all it's done for me. Thanks um, to Mrs. King, um, to Mr. Flowers, to Coach McGinnis for, I know, a tough evaluation process. I understand there were 27 applicants for a very, very good job, and I feel like um, I feel blessed and very lucky to have earned it. So um, I thank you guys for that. Um, I want to thank I want to thank a guy by the name of Dale Robinson who kind of got me into coaching in school basketball. I've been in the AU so long, and he was like, you know, you should try school. You, know, you should try high school. And I would have never thought it would have ended to this point, but I really appreciate him doing that for me. Um, uh, Scott McGinnis has been my, my mentor for the last 16 years. He's taught me so much about the game, about, about life, about things. So I really appreciate and honored to be, um, you know, following his, his big footsteps. It's going to be, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it won't, you know, it won't be, you know, the same I had to coach there, but we, we tend to make it um, yeah, as, as interesting on the court as, as, as he did. So, Scott, thank you so much for all you've done. Um, that beautiful lady sitting at the very top up there with a red jacket on with my mother. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, Ida Short, um, Mom, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me and taking good care of me and getting me to this point. So I really appreciate that. Um, My girlfriend Amelia, I'm sorry. I'm going to sit beside the My girlfriend Amelia Royster. Amelia, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Thank you. I'm, I'm very lucky that to be white to enough in the school that people were going around my principal's office saying, hey, you know, get the guy a job. But I had to earn it, and I, I feel like that was the best thing. Um, all my friends that are here, all my parents, coaches, um, players, Baseball, guys, Mr. Kane showed up. Um, so Ms. Cooper, yes, I saw I see you as well, Ms. Barnes. I just appreciate you guys and understand that I promise you that I'm going to work so hard for Norbrook to continue the legacy that we have here, to make sure we get some banners up there. It's one thing the coach and I didn't do together, we didn't do that. So um, we're going to, you know, work our tails off to get to that place. but. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be here and do this, and I look I look forward to the grind and the work that's, that's going to come. So, everyone here, you guys have all had a hand in me getting to this point, and I always appreciate I appreciate every last one of you, and thank you for spending your time to come out and do this. So, um, again, thank you so much. No one doing a lot of pressing just for you. No one likes pressing, so we're going to press a lot for no one. But just thank you so much for everything. Uh, this time, any any media, you guys got any questions for us? We'll get them one on one. Get them one on one. What about you, Evan? You okay, Miller? Any questions? <laughs> Are we gonna press? One on one. One on one. Yes, Miller uh, coaches us up during the year. We'll see him. Uh, he'll be up in the stands, and then we'll see him at PDQ, and he'll he'll basically just coach us, coach the coaches, uh, and, and turn up the press. Uh, well, at this time, since there's no questions, we'll just kind of hang out here for a little bit, um, celebrate for a minute. Congratulations, Coach. Uh, it was a very hard process for me because Coach is a, is, is a dear friend, so we had to withdraw our friendship here for the last month. So I guess hopefully we can be friends again. Cameron, Amano. <laughs> Cameron, Amano, please report to the main office. I told you, if you come to work in high school, you can hear that all day. Bells all day. We love them. Um, well, in that case, if there's no question, and we're going to be friends, then you need to get to work. Because skill development started today, so go get to work and, and get this thing done. All returning players, for you guys leave, I have a folder for you with all the information, calendars, and everything. I'll make sure to get, to get you guys that. Um, we're going to form a player line to make sure you guys get those, make sure I uh, get a chance to speak to all of you before we get out of here. But again, thanks everyone so much for coming out, and look forward to it.